franchise touchdown leader. Is that a rushing touchdown or is it just all touchdown? Career, all time. Gold standard. That's why I had gold cleats on. Gold nose ring. I always envision this type of performance. You know, we're always we're always striving for a, perf a perfect played game um, in all three phases, and we say it each and every week. And at some point, I'm sure fans, reporters are like, "When well, when is it going to be played?" Sounds like this week we played a, a close to perfect game, and where there's still plays that we could have made. Um, we're just going to continue working on our craft and try and get better each and every week. I get out of here. <laughs> No, I mean, you know how, how hard it is to be an NFL. You know how much work we put in as players uh, to, to reach a Sunday. Like, on any given Sunday, it's for the reason why it's a phrase. You could have a great team lose one. You could have a, a bad team pop up with the win. Uh, we work our butts off on our craft each and every day, you know, to eliminate penalties, to eliminate uh, the room for error. And yet, on a Sunday, there's, you know, we're only human. There's room for error. There's a, there's a reason why we go through so many reps just to go through 40 or 50 plays on defense or 60 plays on defense. Uh, leading up to that, we, we practice three or four times as many reps as, as, as we get on game day. We're trying to be perfect. We're, we're striving to be the best at our craft. And when it comes down to a game plan executing at a high level, uh, we did just that. I hope that's our new standard. Jim, this week, uh, I don't know if you heard Bill Belichick yet called you, I think it was like a, one of the, the hardest working players in the league or the ones that he has the most respect for. I appreciate um, that. Did you hear that ahead of time and just to kind of hear that now? Before, before the game, you try and you know tune out everything. I mean, we, we just lost. Uh, the previous week, I'm just trying to get a, a W in the win column, whatever gets us there. Um, you know, it has been it has been a, a great part of my career to turn the page after 24 hours and look towards this next week. So, moment we flipped the script after you know after the loss uh, last Sunday, got to Monday. I'm gun ho on zoning in on on Mac Jones and his offense, Bill Belichick, who you know is one of the you know most phenomenal coaches you're ever going to see, uh, legendary Hall of Fame coach. So if he said anything positive about me, great, I have to go earn it. You know, if anything, I, I figured there was going to be some chips my way that were not going to be uh, what I wanted. But um, as a defense, as a defensive line, I think we created enough havoc in the backfield to to get the job done today. I think guys in the back end, guys, you know, Tyron sitting over here uh, with that first pick six, uh, pop the game off, uh, draw blood. Um, you feel like the DBs were on top of their game, which made uh, Mac that last series in the second in the second quarter uh, actually hold the ball. And once he hold the ball, we had to make him pay. What's it mean? I mean, hold the team to one and fourteen on third. Uh, better than eight of thirteen or eight of fifteen last week. Um, again, I was I was scorned last week um, by things that felt like weren't a part of our identity going going forward and play, going into this game. And from this game on, I hope that's a part of who we become. Uh, we're officially, you know, almost a, th a third. I'd say a quarter through, but a third through of the way through the season. Um, in the next couple of days, and I mean, we're just trying to keep on turning this page. We're going to enjoy this win, but you know, don't don't make a mistake. Whoever we play next week, we got to start honing in on them right now. I believe it's Jacksonville, but I could be wrong. Houston, I was wrong, uh, which means Jacksonville's after Houston. I just like they said, I only focus on one week at a time. I could be wrong. Um, I, I hope that you know what our defense played today is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, the way Double D played, coming downhill, covering guys, um, everything that he's been all world, all pro for the last few years. Um, you know how DBs are getting more confident, start breaking on balls. I feel like even our, our depth is starting to get a little bit stronger. So the better we can be as a, as a defense, the better we can be as a team. Is this, is this what you guys can be today? Tyron. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I hope, I hope, uh, you know, again, we're creating an identity, and I think we got away from that this last week. If we can continue striving for, for a complete game in all three phases, uh, I hope to assume this is being the regular for us. Okay, my coach was just saying how important it was for you guys this week coming into the game about uh, causing havoc and creating turnovers. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you saw specifically, um, you know, preparing over the last week from the Patriots that 
It's about us. At the end of the day, if we play our game our way, there's nothing that anybody can do to take away from us. I think we have uh, power players at every position. I think we have talent um, at every other position. And honestly, uh, if we play our brand of football, if we play with the intensity, the energy that we have, and can try and continuously take and enforce our dominance in each series, I hope that becomes a new standard. Again, we got to work for it each and every day. So this game is great. This game was awesome. This game was fun. Um, and I hope it continues to be this exciting. This is fun for the Saints. All right, I'm out. Bye.